How's it going folks? Been cleaning out under the house today and this is one of the beds that came with the aquaponics system. These are the earthen beds that Paul Van had set up. Paul Van, for you folks who don't know, is an internationally um, respected aquaculture expert. He specializes in integrated aquaculture now, which is basically aquaponics. And um, these things here, he had set up as earthen beds and they were running off the fish tanks. He actually had three of them hooked up. I got another couple under the house and the filters. But anyway, back to this. Oh, check out his site. I'll put a link below. Um, this here is what I'm thinking about using to make up some wicking style beds. Now I'm going to go the um, earth box or earth bucket style and basically sink a couple of holes through this insert here. There's one already in the center that Paul had the water delivered to the top. I'm going to make up some um, shade cloth bags like this one. This one's actually got shell grid in it. I had it in the sump tank for ages in the aquaponics system, but um, didn't do much job at balancing the pH just quietly. Anyway, um, I'm going to make up some small ones of them and have them going down the hole. And what I thought I'd do is um, drill one, or cut two, three, four more holes, and have them going down as wicks so they can wick water up. Uh, the reason why is I've worked out that I've got about a... Um, 24 centimeters which is uh, just under um, 24 centimeters what's that just under a foot's worth of um, space in the bottom here so the water from the very base here will not wick up all into the soil generally water will only wick up roughly around about uh, 200 mils or 8 inches so what I'm yeah, going to do is have those wicks in there and it'll just be a matter of making sure there's always water in the system. And as I've worked out before, the roots of the plants, they will go and find the dam spot and they'll probably go down into those bags and into the base as well. And not only that, I am anticipating that some of the roots will go through here, uh, through the geotextile I'm going to have in the base and into the um, water reservoir anyway. I noticed that when we dismantled these at Paul's place, we did see a little bit of roots sticking through the holes here. So we got this one here and we have the other one over there and there's the insert for it. Um, so two will be wicking beds and I have one underneath the house that may be set up as an earthen bed later or maybe a wicking bed. Um, I still haven't um, done that pouch. I need to go down and get some potting mix. I do have some plants in the garden, they're just not in the pouch. So there you go folks. I thought I'd give you a bit of a uh, quick look. Um, I'm off to the hardware and I'll catch you later. Cheers guys.